hello welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm just giving you an update on the granola business um it was it was going really good it was just that i had to take a step back it was a lot of different things that i was learning like it's one thing to make granola for just yourself and you know your family and stuff like that but making it on a larger scale it was just different things that i learned and so um also i learned that i really wanted to get into stores and one of the ladies that I was talking to, she actually wants me to link up with her, but she was saying I needed to be in a commercial kitchen. So that's where I am now. I'm looking to get in a commercial kitchen. So I, I kind of took a step back to get the funding and get the things that I need to get it in a, in a commercial, start producing it in a commercial kitchen. And so that's all I would uh, share with you all as far as um, any tips with this journey, I would just say that sometimes you may have to take a step back to see what's working, what's not working. Where do you, you know, how do you plan on getting like, because I already had a vision that I wanted the granola in stores anyway, but how am I going to, you know, get to that process? And so just getting out there and just basically, that was kind of like a trial thing too as well to see like, okay, how do people really like it? And so we got a lot of great feedback. People really liked it. And I like that the people were not plant-based, you know, they were not vegans. They were not plant-based. Um, I think I may have, I've sold it to one vegan, I think, <laughs> I think, you know, and so but for the most part, most of my customer base were not vegan. So that really, you know, really inspired me to know like, okay, this is because that's my goal for the things that I make is that it can be it can be eaten by anyone. If you're looking to eat healthy or you just want something that tastes good and you like good food. And so that's what the goal of my uh, business and the things that we produce is to make sure that everybody can eat it, whether you're plant-based or not. So we did, I did find that out. I did find out that, you know, this is something um, that is tangible that people want to have and they want more of it. So I'm just stepping back to really kind of focus on um, going at a larger scale. And so, and then just getting the monies and everything together to take the business to the next level. So I just wanted to give an update on that about the business and how everything is going. And so just my nugget for those who are starting a business that you may have to step back. You may have to see, okay, what's working? What's not working? What do I need to do differently? Or how can I scale it even more? You know, okay, if you're selling it at the farmer's market, okay, how can I get it in the stores? And so just, you know, I had went out, you know, just looking and um, I did find a store that was, you know, uh, they had like a lot of people who were starting their businesses in there and they was letting them have like different booths in there. Uh, I don't know if you all have a Myers where you are, but um, a Myers um, not so far from where I live. Well, a little ways, but uh, a Myers, they were letting people actually, you know, put their businesses in there. And so that really inspired me. I think we went there on a Saturday, I think it was, me and my daughter and... Um, that was just so encouraging. That just really, my daughter said it's so, it was so encouraging to her that she said, Ma, I gotta get me something. I gotta start selling something. So that was really encouraging, you know, for her to even, for her to get inspired to see, like, you know what? These people are out here making it happen for themselves. And so, um, yeah, I would just encourage that if you have to take a step back to, to, to scale your business, even for it to go higher, learn it. Like I learned so much because like I had uh, mentioned in my first video, I just started this business just making a snack for myself and God began to deal with me with starting this business. And so this business basically just came out of me just whipping something up in my kitchen and it was good. And my daughter telling me like, this is good. You got something, actually you need to sell this. And so that's how that all came about. And so, um, yeah, you may have to, you may have to just, um, just take a step back, you know, and see for, or if you like for me, um, I have to save money, a little bit more money, and I have to get more money to take it to the next level where I'm taking it. So you may have to do that as well. But um, just keep going forward. Keep, you know, keep it in your mind. Keep it before you uh, know that. And then for me, launching out, I know I was, I was able to learn, like, okay, this is how many hours it would take for me to. But also, too, I was in my... 
my own kitchen. So that's another thing like for me, I definitely do need a commercial kitchen because to make all these orders in just my little, you know, my kitchen and then not having the space area. Like even if the oven, the oven is really not so, that's not really so much the problem. It's the space, the counter space and trying to have everything and all this, you know, different things. So yeah, so it's definitely time for me to get into a commercial kitchen and then also the labeling and the weight and just really learning that like knowing you got to have all, which I know my ingredients, you know, so that's not a problem. But, you know, linking up with the, um, a labeling company that will um, put everything that needs to go on there, which I actually did find one, but I don't know if I'm going to go with them. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I hope this video encouraged you to keep going with your business, even if you have to slow down and, you know, figure out what's working, what's not working, or you have to, whatever it is, just keep moving forward. Or if you have to save some money, in my case, I have to save some money so I can scale it to the next level. But just know that it's going to happen. Know that you're moving towards that vision and that, you know, that goal that you have for your business. So I hope this video encouraged you. Just wanted to give you all some updates on my granola snack business. I'm still going to move forward in it. I'm just looking to um, get a commercial kitchen and do the other things so I can actually get it into the stores. Because you have to have it uh, produced in a licensed kitchen so you can sell it to the stores like you can go to like for me i can go to to the farmer's market or just if somebody just you know i could sell it to um random people or whatnot because under i stay in michigan so under the cottage law you can sell you know dry goods baked goods stuff like that out of your home so but i want to actually put it in the stores but um that's all i thank you all for watching and i pray that you all have a blessed and a prosperous day